Good evening. My name is Wade Richmond. Wade, I'm sorry. No problem. I've been called much worse. <laughs> um, I reside at 100 Nib Road with my wife. Um, you know, on, on September 22nd, 2016, this town council issued a strong statement indicating that it opposed the proposed plan by Invenergy to have, an, to have another power plant sited within Boroughville. And we're very grateful for that. That statement included numerous and very justified concerns that led to your opposing position. Further, this town council issued an invitation to other neighboring communities to join in our opposition of Invenergy's proposal. And to date, local governments of Lincoln, Gloucester, North Smithfield, and Middletown have all voted to support Boroughville's opposition to this power plan. I'm very concerned that if this town council now gives this tax treaty, or fruit treaty further consideration, or worse, even votes upon it, that we will be giving these other communities that have not yet adopted this opposition a, a, a vision of hypocrisy and disingenuousness at best. And I think the likelihood of other communities joining us in our opposition at that point would uh, ultimately and undoubtedly evaporate. Invenergy, as, as many people have said here tonight, Invenergy has sought and they secured a 90-day suspension of the process. They requested it, they received it, and now they should live with the consequences of that request. By definition, the suspension of a siting process requires no further action, and certainly not binding action by any party associated with the process. Therefore, at a minimum, there should be no further consideration of this tax treaty at this time until the siting process resumes, and then only once all of the concerns that the council justly put forth in its opposition to the pro proposal are fully satisfied. The town of Boroughville, like the rest of this country, utilizes a representative democracy as its form of government. I don't think I have to tell anybody on this panel how you get elected. But the basic premise of a representative democracy is this, the people, we, your constituents, elect individuals to represent us in the government of our, of our community. With the key concept here being that the elected official actually does represent the will of the citizenry who elected him or her. As elected officials of this town, you were placed into office to represent the will of this citizenry. A sampling, only a sampling of which is before you tonight. As such, your highest and overriding priority must be to ensure that no action is taken on behalf of this town that is not representative of the desires and or needs of the majority of the citizens of this town. Having said all this, as one of your constituents, I'm hoping that we, the people who elected you to represent our wishes, can count on each of you to do what we are expecting of you on our behalf. No new tax treaty with Invenergy at this time.